we're back. back. That's right, we're back, but this time not with a movie. No, with a game. Yes, with not a game. <laughs> Double Dragon. No, not Double Dragon the movie. No. Double Dragon 4! Yes. Which was released on the PS3 and... Steam? Actually, actually I don't know PS3, oh my god. No! PS, PS4, wasn't it? PlayStation. Yeah, PlayStation Network. PlayStation sorry. Network, yes. um, Steam, and I'm pretty sure well, probably for X. Xbox One. Don't know. Don't really care about that one. But the one that we got was the PC version, right? Yes, because... Yes. Mainly because it was much easier to stream. Yes. And you can bring along... I mean, as long as you have the code, right, you can... Use it anywhere, right? Is that how it works? No, as long as you have an account on it, that, oh, that's, how, that's how it works. Although that, that would be very convenient <laughs> and very weird to do. Yeah, it would, yeah. But yeah, so Double Dragon 4. Why did we get into this? Well, this year was a th celebrating the 30th anniversary of Double Dragon, and we were playing Double Dragon 2 The Revenge. Yes, we had a stream on that. If yep. you didn't catch it or I didn't upload it, then, well, whoops, I guess you're <laughs> not gonna see it ever! Which is arguably probably the best uh, of the Bell Dragon series in most people's opinion. Um, so then we wanted to see how uh, this one would play out because it used a similar uh, engine, like graphic-wise anyway. So and wasn't it also made by the same people? Yeah, same people who made uh, part two and uh, I think... It's not three. I don't think they made three, no, but... Uh, but yeah, uh, and it was the cheap. I mean, the price was okay too, right? It was like what, what was it like? It was like six ninety nine US, and then here it was like eight something. Yeah, eight yeah. Something. I was gonna say it wasn't thirteen ninety nine, no, was it? No, yeah, if it was that high, I I think <laughs> like no, it was definitely below ten dollars. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's the price you sh should, you should, should even pay. pay it. But the most optimum price would be like five ninety nine to six ninety nine, because like after what we played through. Okay, sh short story, no spoilers. What did you think? What did you think of the game? Uh, I mean, it's it's different from the the previous installments. Uh, in this one, the did you say so. Well, I mean, they still you know it's still a beat 'em up game, obviously, but uh, the enemies have changed. So, so it's no longer the shadow uh, uh, warrior or black warriors, whatever you call it. It's now. Uh, the Renegades, they, they were making something a, like that. Yeah, they were making a reference to the Renegade, which actually came out before Double Dragon. So it started off with Renegade, and then it was Double Dragon. So I guess they were trying to, you know, mix them all together. So it was, it was a bit different. And this this one takes place in San Francisco, apparently. Oh wow, they were they were hitting San Francisco, hitting San Francisco. and then they had to go all over the place. But uh, <laughs> yeah, San Francisco was one of them. It was after a nuclear war, which yes. immediately hit my head, and I was like, "You mean like Fist of the North Star?" Not quite. The story was like, uh, yeah, nothing, I don't know. Nothing special, though. No. I don't. I don't remember shit. Me neither. Because usually, you know, in the previous installments, you know, Marianne was, was kidnapped, or number two was specifically had a yeah, had like or a, she was killed, and they had to find, you know find out who did this to get revenge on them and stuff like this. But in this this one, there's no no mention of Marianne at all. Right? Stuff just happens. Stuff just happens. Like yeah. that thing, the nuclear war. Like, did that affect Billy or uh, Jimmy in any way? No. no. Well, pissed them off, I guess, but... That's it sent them on a journey ride into yeah. San Francisco, and then, like, every time they beat up a boss, it's like a dialogue. Like, hey, you'll never take us down! Tell us who you are! And then it's just like, next level. Yeah, it, it kind of reminded me of, uh... I mean, some of the... I'm trying to think. The previous Double Dragons, they didn't really have scenes where they were... You know, talking after the battle, they would talk like usually before the level began or something like that. There would be like some some cutscenes, but in this one, they do it like every after every level and before. So like, it's, yeah, it's kind of strange. And then also when it cuts like really abruptly, like I was trying to read the stuff and it was just like it's very fast. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> so it's like it's hard to invest when you can't even like like really read it. And I'm not saying you know uh, I'm a slow reader, but it was just like. I guess. And, but the good thing is you could actually change the language. That was, that was kind of cool. Right? Japanese. Mm, really? Was, was there Spanish and French as well? And English? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like but it's like, oh, come on. So, well, <laughs> That's nothing special. I didn't translate. I mean, I, I don't think the previous installments did any of that. So No, I suppose not. That was kind of cool. But, uh, but yeah, like, did you like Double Dragon 4? You know what, it was okay, but it's not something I would come back to, I would say. Uh, that, that's the that's sad part It doesn't have the replay value, yes. No, it did. Yeah, it, it, does, it, it does have good moves, though. Some, some moves are pretty good. Some, we'll get into that. Did you think the price was worth it? Uh, if you're a fan and you just want to 
see how this one turned out. Uh, I'd say try it, but no, he's, he doesn't agree again. Uh, I would get it on sale, but even then I feel... I don't want to say I feel dirty for, like, getting it, but it's just like... I, I don't know. It feels like we, we... Like, well, you paid for it. You paid for it, and it was like, we just got air, and we just, like, it was like, here's the imagination of Double Dragon 4. Now, uh, did I like it? Mmm, Double Dragon 2 was better. Yeah, I would say so. Like, I won't, I don't want to say it's a waste of time, but something feels, something feels off about, about it. It's true. And we probably know what it is, and the story's partially it, but the Double Dragon series just... It wasn't always that heavy in the into the story. Mm -hmm. I think the only thing that they uh, that they stayed true, aside from the gameplay, was like uh, the graphics. Yeah, they took it well. part two graphics, pretty much. Yeah, so they didn't they didn't do any update or have like a high res version or did something like what was it? Way forwards, uh, Double Dragon Neon. Yeah, Neon. That was that, which you know, you know, uh, much better, right? Yeah, you could say they stylized it, and uh, it was pretty good. Here they, they they kept it exactly the same. Although apparently, if you're if you're uh, from a clan of many ninjas or from Brazil, apparently the background is a massive offensive offense to your eyes, which I never I, I partic personally didn't really notice. You know, yeah. I do do the pixel art kind of stuff, but um, I can see what they mean about it. But mm, yeah, it wasn't that wasn't too important to me. But like it, it stayed pretty much true. You were focused on the. On the sprites mostly. Mm -hmm. How about the uh, sound music? Oh yeah, they had the classic. Do 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 do. Yeah, they got the eight bit one, and then they got the uh, orchestra one, which yeah. uh, we heard both of them, and they have some new tracks too. And okay, it was okay, not memorable though. I just remember the do 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 do. It's like. Eh, not, nothing epic. The sound effects were, I think, similar to part two. They kept that intact, I believe. Right, the knee and... I uh, think they might have, like, uh, made it sharper, like, more clear. Yeah, I can see that. And, well, that's kind of about it. Gameplay? Yeah, definitely go into the meat of the gameplay. So, so it plays, well, pretty much like the, like, the original Double Dragon games, where, you know, side-scrolling beat-em-up, up and down, doing all the moves. I'll say this, the moves are much easier to do in the game, almost to the point where it's like, it's not special, I gotta That's say. True. So you have a spinning, like, corkscrew headbutt now, and we pull off on command. Oh yeah, the one where you headbutt and then yeah. you, you just spin right in. It, it, that's funny. Yeah, it's kind of like Raphael from uh, Turtles 3, the Manhattan Project, that's a special move, so. Except he's not going, he goes in a straight uh, position, and in this one you can actually go in an upward position, and uh, can, you can propel you to the, the top of a platform if you want to knock on knock an enemy off the platform, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, there are some new moves, and there's, um, well, previous games kind of had a combo system. This one it has a set, so, has a set combo system. I, I know it sounds kind of weird, because it's like, it's, well, isn't the original Double Dragon's, uh, quote-unquote combo system, like, pretty much set as well, like, you press punch, 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 and then do, do those combos and stuff. But this one you could, like, hit the guy with, like, a... a bit. I guess, some kind of a kick, and then, you know, knee him across with the, with the next move, and stuff like that. Yeah, that, that was cool and was funny, cool. And, and those moves are definitely abused by us, because it's <laughs> funny, not because uh, we're dirty players. But, I, yeah. but my, the point I'm getting at is, like, it feels like, it, like, Double Dragon 4 is so stuck to the original that they didn't really upgrade the system, like... Well, they, I mean, yeah, they brought back, like, older moves, like the, the elbow came back mm -hmm. from Part 1. Which we didn't really use. Yeah, from Part 1. Um, the Cyclone Kick, which is much easier yeah, to part, do. Yeah, Part 2 is there, too. Um, what else did they have? They have the... the they the had that, right? I'm pretty sure they did. Did they have a headbutt? I forgot. No, I that, had... that, that was a headbutt, and it, it yeah, leads yeah, into the cross yeah, 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 true, true, yeah. Um... Yeah. Well, they had platforming from like I, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't even say that. Double Dragon Two had some like difficult platforming, but it was at least like memorable. Yeah, like the disappearing platform and the and the gears. I mean, this one kind of had some. It had stuff. Clockwork Tower type gears. And some but... other and that one part where it's like the bamboos were coming down and they oh, like, yeah. were coming down really fast. Yeah, like that, yeah. that, that was just like. <laughs> I don't, it feels like they just put it there because it's like, hey, 
double dragon had the had obstacles, we should just throw obstacles in it. It's just like one part that really disappointed me, you probably feel the same way, was uh, there's a part where you go on some kind of a... It's not even a boat, it's just like a... a raft. A raft, I guess. And uh, we were expecting, you know, maybe some enemies to attack or even a shark coming out of the water, but nothing came, it just it just guides you to the next path. Like, it's just a transition. Yeah, that, that, and I was, kind of, I, and I was, tr and I was trying to fool you in, and I was like, watch out, there's a thingy here. I know, that kind of sucked. <laughs> like, what, what, what did you think when I, when I said that, and then you saw nothing? I was disappointing. I was hoping, like, you know, we get, we get some kind of action. Like, what was the point of that? That was pretty... That, that was kind of wasted. That was a waste of opportunity, yes. Like, we could have just walked to the right, and then that was it. Yeah. If anything, at least they could have thrown enemies to where it's like, oh, they could have knocked you off yeah, the thing. At least cool. something changing it up. Because for the most part, speaking of changing it up, they don't ever change it up. In the game, and I know it's mostly fighting, but it's like every... It's just like, that's all Double Dragon 4 is, almost. Minus the platforming. There's like one elevator portion, it's very short. Um, there's a part where you have to climb and then not get hit by these That was an obstacle. Spikes. Yeah, they're, uh, well, they're like, they're like saws. Yeah, saws, yeah. They brought back the walls from part part uh, one mission. Briefly, but it's like, eh, yeah, so briefly. unmemorable. Like, they just kind of put it there to be like, hey, you see this? Yeah. Double dragon. It's like, same with the uh, the whole thing where if you enter the wrong path, you have to redo it. So Which we didn't do because uh, I so. had I had ninja <laughs> intel on that yeah. many ninja intels. Yeah. But yeah, the whole point I'm getting at is like the game is just it's just all fighting, 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 and I know that's what Double Dragon is about. But all they do is just throw a bunch of enemies, and all we do is just like fight them in the most uninteresting way. Yeah, they, they throw a lot of enemies in this one. Like at one time, you fight like sometimes four or five enemies, right? Yeah, but then when you're near the end, they start throwing the, the bosses at yeah. you as regular enemies, and it's just like, all they do is just like, they just fuck you up. And by doing like shitload of damage, that you'll just die in like two hits, and it's just like, bullshit. <laughs> and then uh, what else did we miss here? Well, well, last time I, I, I butchered something pretty bad that brain, yes, that brain fart. I said that this was the first version that had the female final boss, but now it's not. One thing I will say is, were you happy that they, they made the final bosses female this time around? Because in Double Dragon, I think that's the first first time that's, that's actually happened in the series. So. Double Dragon 3 Marion boss fight. Oh yeah, that's true. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> good, good, good call, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, it's not yeah. the first time. No, nope, but it's not the first time that they fought females, especially I, Linda's. Yeah, true. But as the final boss, yeah, it is true. Uh, Marianne is a uh, or Norm, Norm, Norm or uh, in the original Famicom version, she was actually Cleopatra. So, uh, as, as you corrected me, I <laughs> actually remembered because Mary, uh, Princess Norm or Marianne is from, from Double Dragon Three. Double Dragon Three, Sacred Stones. Uh, yes, was uh, she's not in this one, but uh, there's two female. Antagonists, so there's one called uh, Casey and Shannon, I believe. Yes. And they have guns, so it's kind of like uh, if you played Renegade, uh, the last boss is called Sabu, and he has a gun, and he'll kill you one hit, and I think they kill you also one uh, hit. They do a lot of damage. Is that one hit, no? I think it was just like so much damage, it, yeah. was, it might as well have been one hit. Yeah, Sabu was one hit. Yeah, so they were trying to you know, make reference to the final boss of Renegade there, but uh, yeah, they, I. I don't know, it just it wasn't memorable, right? The, the final boss battle. No, nope, no, because all they just did was like, oh, hey, you fought this boss last round. Here, fight two more of them. Oh, by the way, they're upgraded versions, so uh, you know they'll do more damage to you. It was just like, yeah, so poor. Oh yeah, the hit detection. I hated it. Well, not hit detection, but I kind of hated how the system worked. Uh, with like, you know, sometimes they'll duck, they'll duck, and then uh, you're just your move just misses. It's, <laughs> it's like, you know, the sumo wrestlers, like they're. Big yeah. bulky and stuff. It's like, 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 what was it? Jimmy goes, or what was it? No, Billy. My character. Yeah. I'm playing Billy. I walk up. I punch. He, he ducks down. And I'm like, but, but my character is still technically hitting you. Yeah. And, and it's like, nope, you missed. I was like, well, the thing is, even in uh, part two, the enemies would duck your moves at times. No, so, I, I, I get that, but it's just like it's yeah. just so like <laughs> weird. It's 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 like it's like if I'm if I'm punching you in the face yeah. and. You know, you just duck down a little. I'm still gonna hit you in the face. Yeah. That part always bugged me. I hated that because it leads to a bunch of cheap death. That's true. Which uh, you can see on our on uh, YouTube that I've uploaded, that where I com where I completely just complained about it. Oh, I wanted to take care of that. What? He was a fucking mountain. How do I fucking miss a fucking mountain? Fuck this. Oh yeah, you can't run in this game. 
Oh, yeah, sure, that's, that's one thing. I really hated that, because all we do is just like... It's like, come on, no evolution. Yeah, they, were, no. they were trying to stay, I guess, Too to, to, to the roots of uh, the first two. In the third one, you can run, so that was a new, new feature. Yes, that was something. But they didn't bring it back. And they did not bring back uh, Chin. They did not bring Renzo. Well, no, they brought Renzo back. Oh, they did? Yeah, as an unlockable. Oh, yeah, true, true. But in the actual, like, uh, initially, yeah, he's not in the story mode, but. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. other characters you can play as they're in the story mode, which you think would be kind of cool, but it's yeah, like. Yeah, so you can unlock them in the. In the tower. The tower mode, right? Yeah. yeah. Which we did try as well. But, yeah, we uh, tried briefly for it. And then there's yeah. also the dual mode, dual which mode. we didn't bother with. Which it's... is from part one, where you can fight each other head to head, like a tournament mode. You know, you know what Double Dragon 4 reminds me of? What? Double Dragon 3 on Sega Genesis. Oh, the uh, Rosetta Stone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It kind of plays like that. <laughs> okay. Which was not very good, was it? No, it no. was not. It was not. But at least no. with that one, it was like straight up bad, and you kind of were like, yeah, it's bad. We kind of played it as a guilty pleasure, but Double Dragon 4, you, you yeah. were expecting so much good things from it. Many ninjas expected many good things from it, no pun intended. We were kind of hoping it was something really good, and it was just, it was just like, it was just, it was just not good. There's not even online to play with like your friends, but then with how much they were selling it for and the and probably yeah. the budget they didn't bother with that, so it made the replay value just like really just whatever. We 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 played it once and then that was it. Oh, what about? How we did not know that there was a level select. Oh yeah, true. So uh, if you get a game over, guys, um, it's not truly it's a game it's over. It's not truly a game over. You can actually continue, uh, but you have to. Well, not continue. Level select. Level select on the on the main uh, menu. screen, right? Menu. So we found that out the hard way. The well, actually, we were ha we had to be told about yeah. it because otherwise we would have been like we would have not made no. it through the entire game. Like fuck this game. Well, sorry guys, we gotta Should have pressed start to continue from the last level. Oh, you can do that. What? Oh come on! <laughs> fuck this game. Are you serious? Yeah. So there is a level select once you. I, think, I guess once you've beaten once the you've previous beaten levels, it. right? Yeah. Or at least you've reached the level. Yeah, actually, you unlock those. That's kind of strange. But uh, yeah, I, I've seen questionable the... <laughs> choice. <laughs> I, mean, I do like the fact that you can unlock characters like the, uh, the mysterious uh, you know, Shadow Warrior that, uh, from the Part 2 Final Boss. I thought that was kind of cool, but you have to do so much, I guess, gameplay in the tower mode to do that. It's just uh, like really repetitive. It it's is. just like, just just play this, just do this over and over again. And you know what made it even like worse, like the while like of how how like disappointing this game was. It was by the creators of the original, like, game. It's like, come on. You, the original creators come back, you expect, like, oh, yeah, this is gonna be awesome. And it's not awesome. So it's like, if it was some third-party people, it's like, oh, well, you know, these guys didn't know what they were doing. But no, these were the people who made the original. That's just disappointing. Yeah, I agree. Apparently, River City Ransom um, Underground is a lot better. better. I mean, I've, I've seen footage of it. It looks pretty decent. Was that a, uh, an actual? Is that handheld port, right? Uh, no, no, no. They they have one on the uh, Steam. Uh, which one am I thinking? Of? I saw one for the 3DS that came out not too long ago. Rumble. Is that what it's called? Yeah, I think it was something like that. Probably that one's good. So it kind of has a, it uses the same 8-bit mm -hmm. sprites. Yeah, same with yeah. the uh, River City Ransom uh, yeah. Underground. So that's cool. One and that one has online at least. Uh, so at least you can play with people and there's couple characters you can switch between and you can level up. There's more replay value in yeah. that. I'm kind of wishing we played that one instead. Well, it's okay. We're, I mean, we're, we were more familiar with the uh, Bell Dragon uh, series because we, we played the first, uh, well, oh, the second, second and third. third. I know, I never really played the first yeah. one, but... Yeah. River City Ransom, I've actually never, um, I've... I never played from start to finish, so it wouldn't be fair for me to... River City Ransom, it's like, it's kind of somewhat hard to get into. You really need to invest into it. Yeah. But, uh, so where would you rank Double Dragon 4 on, like, the list between Double Dragon 1 to 3? And whatever games you can, you have experience with. Okay, um... I mean, 3... <laughs> 3 has some good, good aspects. If you're playing with a second player, you can do that double cyclone kick, mm -hmm. which I like. But other than that, it was... And then just us kicking the game's ass. Yeah, other than that, the 3, I didn't think was uh, properly um, exe executed. executed. Yeah. So that's why a lot of people hated on that game, including the Angry Beauty Gamer, of course, in this review. But, uh, 
Yeah, I'd say it's probably better than three, but not by much. Uh, definitely not better than the first two. So, no, no way. No. So yeah, I'd rank it. Like it's not the it's not the worst double dragon of all time. Not even close to that. I'd say the tournament fighting one was probably the worst one, uh, which was actually called Double Dragon Five, five which it was kind of weird, but uh, Super Double Dragon was okay from what I played. So yeah, I I put it near the bottom, but not at at the very bottom. Yeah. You? Mm, me? Let's see. I'm I'm only gonna count the ones that I've had experience with. Uh, Double Dragon Two is first. Because yeah. I like that. Uh, second, I would say Double Dragon Neon. Yeah, that one, that one was fun. We should get around to playing that. Uh, third, never played Tournament Fighter, but probably don't need to. Uh, I played a bit of Super Double Dragon Four, but I was like, uh, yeah. I didn't really play that much of it. Hmm, this is tough because it's like I don't want to say I like Double Dragon Three more than Double Dragon Four. <laughs> yeah. But if you do, I guess. But I kind of do in terms yeah. of a game. Yeah. Like, there's something to do. There's, like, there's... There's an emotion there. Like, oh, that's... Like, fuck this. Like, aha, I beat this game. Yeah. Even though everyone's, like, was like, oh my god, it's impossible. You need to be a double dragon god. But four, it's just like... You just slog through it. Like, oh, look, we lost. Quick, level select. We're back here. Taking these guys' ass. Like, there's nothing memorable. Yeah. Not Nothing really memorable. Yeah, the boss... Yeah, the, the bosses in this one were, were pretty forgettable. I mean, at least, you know, with part three, it was it was very unforgiving uh, at first. You know, you had to fight the... There was a variety between the bosses, at least. Yeah, you had the to, funny stuff we could do. You had to fight the mummies and then Princess Storm in the end. So that was, that was a difficult challenge And then first. you had Ranzo, who was really fast. And then but you slow. had... Actually, actually, Ranzo's faster. I'm thinking of yeah, uh, Chen. Yeah, sorry, Chen's slow. But, and, and the other thing I like about those, you can actually hit them as they're entering in, and then they still yeah. start their <laughs> dialogues. We see, that's something, like, that's enjoyable. Yeah, that's true. Did we have anything like that in Double Dragon 4? No. no. We're just fighting stuff, hoping we don't die, and hoping we just, like, make it to the end without dying. So, would you recommend Double Dragon 4? Unless you're a fan of the series... And you want to celebrate, you know, the anniversary, 30th anniversary? I would say no. But if you are, you know, check it out at least. But that's about it. Don't, Dude. don't, not even no. I, your money's better spent elsewhere. Like honestly, it's like if it was good, I would've been like, yeah, go check it out. But it's just not good. It looks like a flash game. Yeah, I think it's good. Like it's, it's just like short. Well, I guess don't get it, guys. Yes. I would say if it was free, then you know, that would that would fit perfectly. Like legitimately free. Like obviously a free game is like good, but it's like yeah. this game I would have priced it at like one ninety nine. Yeah, really? Two ninety nine at most, because it's like I don't want to shit on the people who worked on this game, but it was just not that good. Oh yeah, I forget. This was by Arxis. Same people who um, did the double dirt battle toads on a Genesis. Oh yeah, true. Which was not the greatest game either. <laughs> nope, it had great music, visuals are pretty good, gameplay. Not so much. Yeah. Especially Cleaner Winger. Oh my god. Yeah. Control ratio. But yeah, that's Double Dragon Four. I I wouldn't really recommend it, yeah. even to a even to a fan. If you're curious enough, I'd just say go watch a Let's Play. That, that's about it. Yeah. I'd say, uh, you can check it out, but don't expect to, like, come back to it. Like, you might beat it once and it's, it's about it. No, it's like, it's like a tissue paper. It's disposable. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Well, so that's it, I guess, right? Yeah. Well, if you're looking to avoid trouble, stay out of trouble by not playing Double Dragon 4, right? Double that. Like, uh, would you recommend them getting Double Dragon Four? Uh, I would only recommend if you're a fan of this series and you want to see where this one, you know, takes off.